All right, what's this? Uh, that looks like an S-cap. Yeah, SCAP, S-cap, syringocystadenoma papilliferum. You've got these finger-like, you've got a kind of bulging epidermal surface with cleft-like invaginations that branch down into little ducts into the dermis. And within those open luminal ductal spaces, you have papillae floating in the middle, and the papillae are lined by double layer of columnar cuboidal epithelium, sometimes with apocrine snouts. And one of the very nice features is that usually, oh, sorry, uh, the slide fell into the middle of the microscope. There. Usually, there are loads of plasma cells in the cores of these papillary structures. So that's very helpful. You can see that there's sweat ducts right there. And then also, look what this is. What are these? What kind of glands? They look like apocrine. They're apocrine glands, yeah. Sometimes you can see these really bright little granules in them. I'm not sure what those are, but they're often there. You can see the eyeball, the minion eyeball sign, right? See, it's like these big eyeballs staring back at us. So apocrine glands, well, if this is on the scalp, guess what this means? This is probably a scap arising in a nevus sebaceous, which is what often happens. They often do arise in nevus sebaceous, and probably this background warty looking stuff is probably a component of nevus sebaceous. So anytime I see scap, I go looking for background nevus sebaceous because it's often present. Doesn't necessarily matter, but it's just kind of an interesting thing to point out. 